Hello, my name is Miss Allegra, and today we are going to learn about what happens next to Nehemiah. Now remember, Nehemiah lived in Persia as a helper to the king. He found out that something in Jerusalem was broken. Do you remember what it was? That's right, it was the walls and the gates around the city. So God's people were not safe. Now the king gave Nehemiah permission to go to Jerusalem to help his people rebuild the walls and the gates. And today we are going to find out if God kept his promise, if the walls and the gates were built, and if the people were safe. So our Bible story today comes from Nehemiah 3, 1 through 16. Now Nehemiah wanted to help the people in Jerusalem. The walls around the city were broken and they needed to be fixed. Nehemiah and the people worked to fix the walls and the gates in the walls. The walls and the gates had special names. Some of the people worked on the fish gate. Can you make a fish race with me? Great job! This gate was the entrance to the fish market. Now some people worked on the sheep gate. What sound does a sheep make? Bah! Now the sheep gate led to the place where the people went to sell sheep. And everyone in the city worked together on the walls. Now before long, the wall was halfway rebuilt. It was a very big job. But when they worked together, they had a lot done. But some men who lived nearby were angry about the walls being rebuilt. They did not like God's people and they did not want them to have new walls to keep them safe. Now the men made fun of God's people. They said, these people cannot rebuild the walls. They are too broken to be fixed. But that wasn't true. God's people could rebuild the walls because God was helping them. Nehemiah prayed. God's people kept working on the walls, but their enemies made a plan to attack them. God's people chose men to build the walls all day and all night, but they were still afraid. Our enemies are everywhere, they said, but God was helping them. Remember, this is part of his promise. Nehemiah reminded the people that God is great and powerful. He encouraged them saying God would fight for them. So they kept working. Nehemiah helped God's people to keep working and to trust in God. It's the moment we have been waiting for. Can I get a drum roll? Now before long, the wall was finished. Yay! Now God's people were safe and the gates and the walls were fixed. God was with his people. Now, this reminds me of our big picture question. It says, does God keep his promises? What do you think? The answer is yes, for God is always faithful. Nehemiah helped God's people fix the walls around their city. The walls protected the people from their enemies. Jesus protects us from our enemies. When we know and love Jesus, he helps us be safe and we will live with him forever. Now, let's stand on up because it's time to practice our memory verse. Here we go. His mercies never end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Lamentations 3, 22 through 23. Let's say that one more time. His mercies never end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Lamentations 3, 22 through 23. Awesome job. Now I loved learning about our Bible story today. Let's close our time in prayer. Here we go. Open and shut them, open and shut them, give them a little clap, clap, clap. Open and shut them, open and shut them, fold them in your lap, lap, lap. Dear God, you are so, so good. Thank you for your faithfulness and for keeping your promises. Help us to not be afraid and to trust in you. We love you with all of our hearts. Amen.